Kathleen of Lake City Dialysis Center. This is Grace. Hello. I'm putting some Beodyne on my arm, preparing to put the needles in. I had some uh, lidocaine cream on there, which will help make the needles hurt a little less when they go in. What are you doing? Putting Dr. Oh, the needle. needle. There it is. That's how big it is. Okay, number two. Okay, let's now. What she's doing is she's putting in the second needle. We need one needle to take the blood in and one needle to take the blood out. And then it's going to go through that big machine behind Grace. And it's going to remove the toxins from my blood. So it'll keep me alive for a little bit longer. Now she's going to run some heparin through. Is that the heparin? Yeah. That is to help to keep the blood from clotting the lines. Turn on the heparin. Put the tube together. Turn on the machine. You're ready to go. Blood's starting to go through this too. You can watch it go into the machine. One year. Here it comes. Here it comes. Almost. Okay. Well, the machine is gonna be. is three hours. Three hours. And how much you want to take off today? 1.5 including rinse back. We're just discussing how much fluid I should take off. This is one of the main functions of dialysis is to remove the excess fluid that builds up in our systems. You running? We are running now. We are running. For so. 400. And there we go. Two hours and 57 minutes left. Right there. I just want everybody to meet Grace. She's Hi. one of the technicians here. She's a lovely lady. I, I just really enjoy all the people here so much at dialysis. That's why I see. Yeah. <laughs> and it's. Not the funnest thing in the world to do, but you know, if you're going to have to come and sit in a chair for three hours, might as well be amongst people like Grace, who are and the other technicians here who just work their hearts out. They're they're kind and they're caring and they really take care of the patients here. How long have you been doing this, Grace? Oh, I've been doing now for a year. Here or all yeah. together? Over a year. Okay. So I'm new, but I'm trying to do my best. You do such a good job, and I just want you to really appreciate that. Oh, thanks. And there's Linda. Mary! <laughs> she didn't know. She thought I was joking when I said we were going to make this film for YouTube. But I consider this an educational process. Not everybody will want to watch it, but I think it's really informative for people like, I really wanted to see what dialysis was all about before I started, so I figure there are other people who have kidney disease that might like to see what it's all about. And if you end up in this chair, then make the best of it. I have a wonderful husband who brings a DVD movie, and we call it date night when we come here, so we watch a movie and I get my blood cleaned and then I go home and 
and then I come back a few days later. Hi, this is Eric. He's the nurse here, and one of his duties is to prepare the shots here. This is Zemplar and Epo. This is Epo. This is Zemplar. And, and Epo tells the kidney patient's bodies to start producing red blood cells, which most of them don't do naturally because they have kidney problems. Zemplar tells your parathyroids in your neck to quit producing parathyroid hormone without stopping, which will basically uh, turn you into jelly and your bones will uh, disintegrate into nothing. That's nice. Lots of fractures. Um, I'm going to do a close-up of me giving it in a machine. Yeah. So this is the EPO and I'm putting it in uh, the bloodline, which goes straight into the patient and tells their bone marrow to start making red blood cells. I'm Fred Walker, dialysis patient slash humorist slash comic. And uh, I like to spread the word of joy to those who are on dialysis and perhaps who are not on dialysis. Okay. This is Arlene who will be putting me on. This is the end. She's real with her cow. Uh, this is the computer. That, this is where we put all the information, but it's supposed to be confidential. It's private, so, so we're not allowed to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> we are pretty high tech here. So. Today, here's your arm. Fistula. No Fist. pun intended. See, fist. Fistula. Fist okay. <laughs> okay. We're done now, and Miriam here is going to unhook me. Yeah. yeah. No pressure actually. I'll put pressure when I pull the needle out there. Okay, it's out. I'm holding one. One more. And then apply this side on the wound. And I don't put any pressure right now. I put the pressure when I pull the needle there. Oh, okay. It's out. Perfect. The final step is removing the pads and putting a band-aid on as a replacement. Check if she's done bleeding. She checks to see if it's done bleeding. Okay, she's done. Then apply the band-aid. Miriam also reminded me that the number one cause of having to go into dialysis is diabetes. So if you can find it in your heart to take, give a kidney and get somebody off of dialysis, that would be wonderful. For most people, they have to do this three times a week, four hours per session. And I will admit, when I first started, okay. it was a little more difficult than it is now. I'm ready to go home. Yeah, she is. Whip off your uh, shield. I know. I there I am. This is my gorgeous Miriam. Miriam Thank you. I love you. Thank you. For Thank your you so much, Kathleen. Kind heart. That's all, folks.